Hi gardeners, it's Annette from Needlepointers.com. I love gardening and especially the fresh produce the garden produces. However, even though I live in a small town, I have trouble with rabbits, squirrels, groundhogs, and even deer eating the leaves and fruit of the plants in the vegetable garden. Investing in foldable metal dog exercise pens didn't solve the problem. Those pesty animals were still digging and eating the plants and vegetables. Covering the raised garden bed was the answer to the problem. I needed a simple garden bed cover that was removable and not too heavy. Here is an example. In this video, I can only explain how I made it, but for detailed instructions, go to our DIY raised garden bed cover page listed in the video and in the description. With the help of my son, we were able to make two raised bed covers in about an hour. For each cover, we used five one by two by 48 inch boards. I purchased the boards eight foot long and had the store cut them into four foot sections. You may have to cut the boards a different length depending on the size of your raised garden beds. Line the boards up like a frame with a board in the middle for support. The boards are attached together with T plates and flat corner braces. After all the boards are attached, a staple gun was used to secure the chicken wire or the plastic fencing to the back of the frame. Don't make the mistake I did. To my dismay, the chicken wire mesh I purchased was two inch mesh. I didn't realize there were different size mesh. After placing the cover frame on the wire fencing, I noticed a squirrel squeezing through the mesh and into the garden. I had some one inch mesh plastic fencing on hand, so I added that to the back of the frame. Please watch what you buy and use. I am extremely happy with the covering on my raised beds. They protect the plants from pesty destructive animals, but allow useful insects like bees to access. Also, since I have three raised beds, and I only need to cover two of them, and I rotate my crop, these are handy and can be moved from one raised bed to another. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. For more gardening tutorials, check out our sustainable and organic gardening page.